Today we can see in your country that there are changes taking place, reforms taking place, that I know you welcome and that we welcome. And that is one of the reasons I wanted to come today, because we care about what happens in your country. It is an incredibly beautiful country with extraordinary people. It shouldn't be as poor as it is. It shouldn't as have suffered under dictatorship for as long as it has. And things don't have to be that way. And there is the real prospect of change. And I'm very much committed to working with you and trying to help make sure that your country makes those changes. I met with President Than Shuen today and I think there are prospects for change in Burma and I think it is right for the rest of the world to respond to those changes. As you all know, we've just had by-elections and this is taking, this means a step closer towards dem democracy. We still have a long way to go, but we believe that we can get there. I believe that the Jet President Thein Sein is genuine about democratic reforms, and I'm very happy that uh, Prime Minister Cameron thinks that the suspension of uh, sanctions is the right way to respond to this. This, I support the idea of sanctions rather than the lifting of sanctions, the, the suspension rather than the lifting of sanctions, because this would be an acknowledgement of the role of the President and other, other reformers. These suspen this suspension would have taken place because of the steps taken by the President and other reformers, and it would also make it quite clear to those who are against reform that should they try to obstruct the way of the reformers, then sanctions could come back. We want to know that the reform process is irreversible, but I think it's right when President Than Shuen has made these steps, it's right for the world to respond. I think suspension is the right step rather than lifting sanctions because it will strengthen, as Duan Sang Su Xi has said, it will strengthen his hand in arguing it's necessary to keep reforming.